Hey YouTube, it is Amy Keto Maniac. I am finishing up at work. It's 6, 10, something like that. Um, looks like I'm gonna get to leave a little early, but Robert's out running an errand, so it's gonna be a little bit before he comes. <clears throat> but I had a little bit of time on break today, and I wrote up what my heaviest weight, heaviest everything, um, biggest numbers from uh, my fitness pal have ever been that I had on record. And then I compared them to what I am now. And it was really cool. I had some good um, numbers. So I thought I would share them with you. So I, and I'm gonna read. Okay, so my hips, the highest I ever got on my hips was 51 inches. And now I'm at 44 inches, so that's seven inches lost. My highest um, inches on waist was 42.5. Right now I'm at 34.5, so that's eight inches lost. Um, my arms used to be 15.6, now they're 13.8, so that's 1.8 inches lost. Uh, thighs, I didn't ever really measure them before, so I don't have a ton on that. The most I have on that is 28.5 inches, and now I'm 25, so that's 3.5 inches lost. Lots, lots lost on my, on my thighs. The bust, um, again, I don't have a whole lot, but I know what, I, what bra size I used to wear, so I'm going to say that the highest that I used to be was 42 inches, and now I'm at 33.5, so that's 8.5 inches. My neck used to be at 14.5, and now it's at 12.8, so that is 1.7. So, total inches lost in those six places is 30.5 inches. And my highest weight that was on, that I could find on there was 278. I thought it was 288, but 278 is what I found. And I'm at 192.4 now. So that's 85.6 pounds. And granted, I can't, you know, obviously um, attribute all of that to keto, but 60 plus I can for sure. So yeah. Those are my fun numbers. I thought those were really great. So, super successful. Um, Jillian Michaels, hmm, successful. Sorry, if y'all have seen any of her Facebook stuff, then you know that she's she's a keto hater. So, I have issues with people like that who just decided that because they have the ability, everybody else should have the ability to, you know, lose weight gain muscle, work out, do all that stuff that supposedly she thinks is the way it should be done, you know. And, you know, it's just, I get really tired. And I, we made a video yesterday because I got a new um, selfie stick, but I had it plugged in. I didn't realize that meant that I wouldn't have any sound, so I decided not to put that video in there that had absolutely no sound. So no point in doing that. So, um... But I was really frustrated because I've been, I watched a video from her on Facebook and then I just saw another tweet from her um, that had been posted on Facebook just saying that she hated keto and she didn't understand why anybody would ever do it. It's horrible, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I just get really tired of people deciding how other people should live and, and how they should diet and how they should eat and how they should work out. It's like we're all on our own journey. So you can just mind yours and I'll mind mine and we'll go from there right so I love keto I love carnivore and I feel great and that's what I'm gonna do so um, a fitness expert can think what she wants she's not a doctor and even most doctors can think what they want because I don't I don't choose to agree with them either so we're all on our own journey if in 10 years I find out this was a horrible idea and I have all kinds of health issues well you know you can say I told you so but for now and as somebody that's been trying to lose weight for 40 years, okay, we'll, we'll be nice and say 25 years. <laughs> this is a very important part of my life. And, you know, a lot of people like to say that you shouldn't make long-term decisions just because you want to lose weight. Bad decisions for your body. But it's like, you know, it's easy to say that if you don't have to lose weight. But, you know, those of us that have been trying you know, for 
over 10, over 20 years, the desperation is most definitely there. And when you come across something that's effective, well, of course you're gonna jump at it. Why would you not, you know what I mean? So, that's my take. I'm happy with what I've done. I'm happy with the progress I'm making. I definitely feel like that I'm gonna hit my goal and that I've never felt that in 20 years. I've never felt that. And to have that now and then for people to come in and be like, that's bad, you shouldn't do that, da 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 da. And it's like, just shut up. You have your opinion, even if it's backed by factual evidence. I have my opinion that is also backed by factual evidence. So to me, we're at an impasse, so you can just do your thing and I'll do mine. And I wish you no ill harm, but this is my life and I'm going to live it. You know what I mean? So I'm feeling empowered, feeling good, feeling happy with the 30.5 inches that I've lost in my lifetime and the 85.6 pounds I've lost in my lifetime. I'm loving the lifestyle. Hopefully um, you guys will get to say hi to Robert before the end, before I actually do this video, but we shall see. All right, talk to you guys later. Keto on.